name is Vicki Baracos, and I am a nutritionist working in a department of oncology and a regional cancer center in Canada. My topic for today is nutrition and the toxicity of cancer therapy. Cancer is a disease highly associated with malnutrition. And often, at time of diagnosis, patients already have weight loss, erosion of the lean body mass, inflammation, anorexia, a variety of symptoms and pain which prevent them from eating adequate amounts of food. So it is likely that a patient could be malnourished at the very start of their cancer trajectory. On this background, they are treated by a medical oncologist who is a doctor who provides systemic chemotherapy with cytotoxic drugs intended to eradicate or suppress the growth of the cancer. These drugs are toxic and by themselves have important side effects that have nutritional consequences. So for example, during adjuvant chemotherapy of esophageal cancer, a patient would typically lose seven kilograms or eight kilograms of body weight as a consequence of these side effects. It's important to understand that a malnourished person will experience more toxicity than a well-nourished one, and then the toxicity causes further malnourishment, like a vicious cycle. So the way we understand to interrupt this vicious cycle starts with early nutritional assessment. So if it is known and well understood the exact dimensions of malnutrition before the cancer therapy begins, then the oncologist can decide which treatment to use and at what dose to use it to achieve maximum effect on the cancer with acceptable toxicity to the person so being treated. With the nutritionist working extremely closely with the oncologist and the patient, then also during the entire course of the treatment, the patient can be supported in every way to keep up their intake of every class of key nutrients, so energy, protein, and essential nutrients so that the optimum of this collaboration between the nutritionist and the oncologist is to start with an early nutritional assessment and to work together to ensure that the patient can tolerate the treatment that they have and maintain their nutritional status to continue to a conclusion of suppression or eradication of the cancer.